and welcome back to the chaos so we're on the way to cars and coffee we're meeting up with Josh and Paul this morning so Josh has a Viper and then Paul I'm not sure if he's bringing his stinger or the Mustang but either way kind of a group meet up this morning I'm excited for that so this cars and coffee I've never been to it's more of on the outskirts of Raleigh so it should be a little bit smaller more intimate um, be curious to see what type of, of show out they get but Josh has a little surprise for us so his car has gone under the knife so I'm very excited it looks like a brand new car so I'm excited to check that out but let's get rolling this morning running a little late but as always per chaos fashion but let's get on the road man it's cold I don't know if you could tell but this is probably the coldest weather I've had the car out in and not that I'm opposed to driving the car all year round that's kind of the beauty of North Carolina like it's, it gets cold but still manageable still take the motorcycles out still take all the cars out as long as there's not like that that salt mess they put on the road when it's supposed to snow but yeah so lucky in that aspect but yeah it's cold but it's it's cool because the car itself kind of reminds me of a dragon when I was warming it up this morning turn the car on because it's got the side pipes or whatever like it just I don't know I thought it looked really neat I try to get a shot of it but I think by the time I got to the camera it's too late but yeah I'm definitely because it is cold though I'm gonna be taking her easy um, these kind of summer tires that kind of thing but we're just chilling out waiting for Josh to get here <laughs> I told you he had a surprise, so I'm getting my first look at it, and holy cow, that's insane looking. Yes, Dude! How you doing, sir? <laughs> What's up? Holy cow, this looks incredible. Oh my god, that's not even the same car. Right. Like, that's what. Calibers, man. Check out the calibers and everything, man. Nuts. I mean, like, legit, when I saw it, I was just like, my jaw hit the floor. <laughs> like, not even the same car so i'm gonna have josh give the rundown of his car or whatever because again like y'all seen this car before it was the Vena red and i mean it's just with the wrap i mean brand new car wrap wheels tint i mean it's just a brand new car but i'll, I'll let josh give the rundown i think it was king tut graphics, king tut graphics yes sir yeah Bonner. shout out to them yeah if you're in the like central north carolina area i mean like this car is flawless i've played around with wrap a little bit i know how difficult it is but I don't see a seam of mistake at all. This car is flawless. Good morning, folks. All right, so now we got the Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue wrap, black stripes, black gloss rims. We got the, uh, the calibers, paint match, Tiffany blue. Which, that's a nice touch. Viper lettering, yes, sir. The Viper lettering. Took all off the uh, emblems on the car. Re-adhesive, painted them black gloss. Um, what else? Then we got our black gloss stripes. Then check out the emblem. I don't even know how they did that, but check that out. The attention to detail is what gets me. Right, loving it. Got so much attention on. I mean, I had this is the first sunny day I got to drive it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's gonna get sunny anyway. Oh, definitely, so, definitely. Yeah, and I just want to remind everybody. It reminds Josh too. I'm gonna insert a clip here. I'm gonna keep it stock. I'm not gonna do anything right. to it. <laughs> Venom red. Stop. Not for now. Doing I'm, I'm doing my best to push him to do stuff. <laughs> Not planning on doing anything, but one day I might. I may. Call over the next. <laughs> then I might throw a supercharger on the next year. Oh, you're getting wild. <laughs> <laughs> He's really going all out. But I, I love to see it because that's the thing is like, don't get me wrong, a Viper stock, it's just perfect. But when you start modding them, I mean, you just take it to a whole other level. And that's impressive to me. They actually did the door jam so a lot of these kind of they do it halfway and they you know the car looks great you open the door and you see the original color but like they went all out this car is again flawless Day can't go without a little chaos so just had a little scare uh, luckily Adam was nice enough to actually stop and didn't have to end up in a car chase today but 
Yeah, Bungie broke on, on the uh, truck hauling, hauling some uh, boxes and all, so I took a <laughs> direct hit, tried to dodge, but in the fact I was actually passing the truck at the time, but just didn't, wasn't bad, wrong place, wrong time essentially, but uh, it's got my heart racing this morning. Luckily not too much damage, just a little scuff on top, but I mean it could have been way, way worse. But again, that's that's life. That's how it goes. Name of the chaos uh -huh. is the name of the game. So, <laughs> but let's get back on the road, get to our car show, not let it ruin our day. Whew. Now that we are on the way to the car show, and my blood pressure is coming down a little bit, man, that was just out of all the cars. Like, not that I wanted to happen in any of the other ones, but this is the definite car I would not want anything like that to to happen with. But. Oh, it comes with the territory. I mean, that's what you get out and drive your cars and it's not a garage clean by no means. So, whew, but definitely scary. And I mean, yeah, dude was super, super nice. So I'm appreciative of that just because there are so many people in this world that would just, you know, dip out. And <laughs> I told him, I was like, man, I would have chased you, but uh, boxes flying at me and everything. Got me a little, little shook up this morning. Didn't need no coffee or I forgot my monster. So that was, that got me racing but on the way to the show now like i said that's that's life there's always going to be some kind of chaos so the dude was nice enough again to stop and i appreciate that but yeah just one of those things where you know a bungee cord broke there was nothing i mean you know necessarily no faults of his own it was just it happens so try not to try not to get it let it get to me or anything like that but he was nice enough we're gonna kind of meet up at the body shop and just get everything handled but yeah so <laughs> lesson for those out there like if something happens yeah do the right thing pull over stop because i mean like that just made that made me feel so much better that you know he was at least willing to pull over stop get you know exchange information make sure that i was taken care of so really appreciate him for that but we're on the way to the show now so let's go meet up with paul and and have a good day Just leaving car show number one we're going car show hopping today so that was a good turnout it was kind of a good mix of stuff it was definitely like heavy with the american cars so as a i always kind of gravitate i feel like more towards the jdm stuff i say that as i'm driving a viper but yeah good turnout there was a um r33 there so i really really love that so i've actually kind of exchanged infos with that guy because i would love to get a ride along in that and told him i'd give, give him a ride along in the viper so on the way to car show number two so we'll update when we get there number two and i think we're late to the game so me kind of getting blasted by boxes this morning kind of set us behind for the first car show and then yeah so now we're late to the second one i see three cars and that's it but we'll go check them out
home now. The second car show was kind of a bust, but I just enjoyed cruising around, honestly. Like, Josh and I, whenever we get together, yeah, just seeing like the two Vipers together just blows my mind. So I just enjoy cruising around. So even if there weren't that many cars when we showed up to the second meet, it was all good. But back home now, and I don't think I actually did like a, any type of damage assessment while we were out and about. So I'll kind of show you, go over the damage, because there's some to the front bumper of the car, and then unfortunately on the roof as well. Front bumper, I'm less concerned with, but it's the, the roof that's kind of got me really bummed out. So let's take a look. So I've got the light shining on it so you can see, but just for reference, like driver's side, below the headlight, you can see that the scratching in this area, that's just light scuffing, but that was definitely not there before, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully it will buff out. Then we have the roof, that's what's really got me concerned is I can't really tell how deep it is into the paint, but that's a pretty good mark. So almost all the way to the back glass, and then stops about three-fourths the way across the roof. But a little bit deep, I don't know. I'm hoping maybe that'll be buffed out too, but I would hate for to have to do a whole respray of the roof. Honestly though, all things considered, I count myself lucky that it was just like those two light scrapes, scratches, whatever you want to call them, but could have been way worse because I think at the time, uh, the road we were on, I mean, I was traveling 55, 60 miles an hour and so was that truck. So anything coming out of the back of the truck was probably traveling that same amount of speed, if not more. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> not a physicist, but I just know it wasn't good. And I mean, it, it, the impact hit so hard that actually like jostled my rear view mirror out of place. So like when I hopped back in the car after pulling over and everything like that, uh, went to look behind me and it was pointing directly at the ground. So I mean like it sounded way worse than, cause I mean when I was in the vehicle, it just, I was being bombarded. I mean it just sounded kind of like a war zone, just the rat -ta, ta tat of all the debris coming at me. So it just, yeah, in my mind I just pictured when I hopped out of the car, I was like, oh God, it's just gonna be, <laughs> scrapes and scratches and dings and dents and potentially a cracked windshield and if you know anything about vipers the windshields are so hard to come by that i was like oh god this is gonna be a nightmare but yeah just thankful the takeaways from today didn't let it get me down the car is okay we'll get it we'll get it mended uh props to the guy that actually like you know he pulled over did the right thing kind of talk to me, made me feel better. He's gonna meet me at the uh, body shop, make sure everything's taken care of, whether it be, you know, we can, something that's buffed out or if it does need to respray, we'll see. But either way, sounds like he's gonna follow through and and make sure that everything is back the way that it should be and no scratches on the car. But that's definitely the takeaway for the day is life happens, it's full of chaos, so just don't let it get you down. You know, put your head back up and, and keep keep at it, so. Really appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one.